Hello, one to 1985 Batman.com. In the words of Janine Melnitz, we got one! Uh, we finally got, or I finally got, uh, the 12 inch cold cast statue of Two Face uh, from Applause. Uh, this is something I've been trying to get for a long while. Uh, I've got the other three in the set, and this was the last kind of holdout. Uh, as you can see, it's just cold cast resin, a uh, big chunky base, grey chunky base. Um, and then you've got Two-Face kind of flipping a coin on this hand and kind of holding his other hand kind of manically out at the other side. Um, this is uh, really fun. Uh, as I said before, like, I, I love these. Uh, they came out at the time and um, they uh, were sold, I think, in Warner Brothers stores uh, only. I don't think you can get them anywhere else. This one, unlike the other ones, I actually got... Uh, off eBay in the box. So I now know what the box looks like. It looks like this. Pretty nondescript. <laughs> Description fig. Two-Face. Made in China. One piece. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so let's have a closer look at the figure and, and look at some of the details because I think it's a pretty, pretty good one. I think all of these are pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's have a closer look. Right, so let's work our way uh, from the bottom to the top. First off, I know this sounds silly, but let's have a look at the shoes. Because um, I was quite surprised at how detailed that shoe is. There's all these kind of like little dots on it, trying to you know be a kind of high class uh, kind of shoe there. And let's have a look at the other one. Obviously, you've got the steel toe cap, um, and kind of they've added kind of like this sort of like spikes on the back, which I guess he had, but it's you know this is the kind of thing where you didn't really see it in the film. And just looking at the bottom, oh, you've got a price actually. Uh, 27 pounds. Two-Face novelty. Made in China. Interesting. Uh, and obviously, yeah, in case you missed it, there's obviously the copyright symbol at the back there. Right, so let's work our way up to the hand. Now, obviously, he's holding um, kind of a Two-Face coin there, but it is just flat. It's not detailed. They haven't put a little figure on or anything, a Lady Gotham or whatever it's meant to be in the film. Um, the detail on the chest and, uh, you know, the two faces of the blazer are pretty good. Uh, kind of leopard spots. Maybe could have been a little better. Um, but it's not too bad. You know, applause when... The thing with applause was they were never particularly great at kind of like the detail. Um, it was really the sculpts were kind of good. And then kind of the detail kind of, yeah, suffered a bit. But you've got you've got little bits like, you know... The little uh, buttons and stuff they've moulded, the little um, kind of jacket pocket here. I'm just looking at the back. I don't know why looking at the back kind of helps. I think just because when Kenner did their figures, um, when they made it, they, they just made a whole black bit at the back because it was like cheaper to do or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, just going on the side, you know, it's good leopard print, but you know, maybe could have been a bit better. Um, and then the glove, which they've just done as a black, but I remember it being... Uh, kind of like a, a fingerless glove, um, but anyway, um, and just looking at the face, let's go in at the face, because this is quite good, um, they've done kind of like purpley lips, kind of very exaggerated eyebrow there, unfortunately the kind of the colour of the, the face and the hair kind of merge into one a bit, so you don't, you're not really getting like the detail there, but I do kind of like these bits. Uh, where well, they've kind of added kind of the dark purple and it's just made it look a bit kind of like grosser. Um, and then obviously round to the other side of the face, it's not a terrible Tommy Lee Jones, you know, it's a bit craggy here and a bit wrinkly up here. Kind of like the um, kind of widow's peak that he has, they've captured quite nicely. Um, you know, ears just a bit blur. But uh, all in all, I think this is actually a pretty good one. Um, I'm trying to think which is the best one. I think still the Robin one is my favourite. Um, but this isn't too bad. Uh, again, like the other ones, I don't know whether the eyes are a li little bit too cartoonish. Maybe could have been a little bit more um, realistic. I'm just noticing now they've done a bit of kind of eyeliner around his eye, probably just to make it kind of stick out a bit more. But let's get all the figures up in one go so we can have a look at all of them and see what they all look like together. So there you go, that is all four applause cold cast statues together. As you can see, there is a little bit of paint difference on some of them. I um, don't know why, but the Batman one is a very much lighter grey than the other kind of platforms of the other figures. Um, and just the Robin figure, I think probably because um, unlike this guy and this guy, 
uh, who have been in boxes. Um, the Robin figure, I think, has been out on display, and his face is just going like a little um, less vibrant than maybe the other uh, figures in the line. Um, but I'm still happy with all of them. I think they're all pretty great. Um, but yeah, I do think this Robin figure is my favourite, just because they've done the kind of the speckled uh, highlights on it, uh, just to give it like a little bit more of a shimmer. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. Obviously, these are now going to get superseded by the Hot Toys and the Prime 1 um, figures, of which I don't know when I'll be able to afford. Uh, but for now, you know, I spent maybe, I don't even know, 60 quid to get all four of these. And they're big, chunky figures. Like, that's my hand, and I have a big hand. Um, they're all like 12 inch. Uh, I want to get them out on display. Um, because uh, these are too good to, to leave boxed up in the back of my attic. But yeah, if you can get these, uh, I would recommend them, because um, they are a lot of fun, and they are a pretty good, if slightly cartoonish, representation of the actors in the film.